The U.S. World Junior Team is back in a familiar Canadian province, Alberta, under unique circumstances for the summertime edition of the 2022 World Junior Hockey Championship. Some key faces won't be back from the wintertime roster, such as Jake Sanderson, Matty Beneers, and goaltender Drew Camesso. But most of the players are back for their second chance at doing something for the first time. Into the corner for favor for the last three seconds. Two and one, the horn will sound. And the United States opens up the World Junior Championship with a nerve-wracking 3-2 win against Slovakia. Unfortunately, we have to start the show with some bad news. Now, as of late this afternoon, official word came from the IIHF that the 2022 World Junior Championships has been canceled. How do you describe just kind of what that the finality was of that day of hearing the tournament had been canceled? It was pretty crushing because, you know, you, you do put a lot of effort and time and those are your dreams. It was it was obviously it was disappointing. It, it, it's it sucked. You know, you made it all that way. Did you feel like when you boarded that flight going home from Canada, did you think that was that was it for the World Juniors oh, forever? Absolutely. Yeah. No, I thought there was very, very little chance. They're like, all right, we're going to keep your jersey just in case it gets rescheduled. And we're all thinking, yeah, no way. A little more than seven months after the 2022 World Junior Hockey Championships were canceled, the tournament is back. With Team USA as the defending champion and looking to win consecutive golds in the event for the first time. When the decision came to reschedule the World Juniors and you knew that you'd have another chance at this, how did you react to that? I was just uh, really happy to have the chance, you know, play with some of my old teammates uh, again and uh, you know, leave my mark on the World Juniors. Who was the first person that you texted? I probably texted uh, Brock Faber and, and Brett Berard, two of my close buddies. What was your phone like? Who, who were you texting as that news first came out? First two people was, was Brock Faber and Landis Slager. I mean, the USA has never gone back to back before, so to be a part of something special like that would mean the world to me. I think we're all excited to get back at it and uh, we're definitely hungry for more. Nate, with this team, how do you think the identity of this group has to be unique from the one that you even had six months ago? I think it's going to be a relentless group. I, I really, uh, I'm really encouraged about the the effort. I think this team is uh, maybe a little heavier. Our size is a little bit more. I think we're probably going to get over the puck a little bit more. I really have a good feeling, you know, about the the competitiveness of this group. How do you think Nate Lehman is already creating a unique identity around this team? He's such a great coach. And like at these pre-tournament camps, it's, it's, you know, he brings the guys together, you know, unlike a lot of coaches I've ever played for. I think everyone here, you know, wants to play as a team. They don't want to play uh, just for themselves. They want to win a gold medal. Um, and Coach Lehman's done an unbelievable job getting everyone to buy in right away. Nate, what has the emotion of this camp been like? It's, it's August, it's not the normal time of year uh, to get ready for the World Juniors, but how much do you sense that they have this mature sense of, of being grateful for just the chance to represent their country one more time? They're happy to come to the rink. Um, our practices have been, I think, good. They've been spirited, they've been up-tempo. I'm happy with the group that we have right now, and this is a group that wants to represent their country. The Chancellor of the USA uh, one more time is, you know, it's something I don't take for granted. Over the years, that jersey means everything, and the fact that I have the chance to represent it again is, is awesome. Being able to put the USA jersey on is, you know, when you, it's such a privilege, and um, you know, something that no one takes lightly in that locker room, obviously. So, gives you chills thinking about it. So we're 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 looking forward to it for sure.